Hey guys, I'm Stefan and today I'm gonna show you how I achieve the film look in a digital picture. First of all you want to open the picture in Lightroom and then you just start there. A little bit of background, this picture was taken a few days back when I was uh, out and about with my friends riding and my friend Leith over here tried the trick on his bike. I didn't know what to expect so I set my shutter speed at 1 800 of a second as you may see here. But the thing is, he was way too fast. This guy spins, I mean, he really spins. So if I zoom in right here, you might see that he's a bit not sharp. Why? Because 1 800 of a second was not enough to capture his movement. I should have been at maybe 1500 or something like that. But anyway, it's a good picture, we can work with that. First of all, we're gonna check the profile. We want to be in Adobe Profile because um, when you do these kind of things and when you use presets especially, you want to have the profile that everybody has. The first thing I do is just get into the tone curve and lift the shadows a tad bit and kill the highlights. Just a little bit. So you see everything is nice and flat. Well, we don't go for a flat look here but it's nice to have it like so. Now I'm gonna drop the shadows, not much, just a little bit. Maybe like that. And push the highlights. And as you may see in the curve, the midtones go up too. Not much, but they go up. Just like that. So to get a film look, first thing you want to uh, do is to lift the blacks a bit because black is never black when you're shooting film. So yeah, you might see his ass here. <laughs> anyway, the whole thing is that you want um, deep blacks but not crushed. So now that we did the S curve. We're gonna go to the saturation, of course. My, per my personal preference is to dial down the saturation a tad bit, like minus 15, even minus 20, and bring up the vibrance, like plus 10, maybe plus 15. This should be good. Minus 20, plus 15. Okay. Now, let's see what we get. This was the before, this is the after. It's a bit more contrasted with no more blown out areas, so we're good. We're on the right track. And now, the split toning. I always like to dial a little bit of color in my uh, highlights and shadows. The, a good rule of thumb here is to just crank the saturation up and see what you like. Right now I'm on red, it doesn't look good at all. So we're just gonna dial it. Yellowish. Yellowish would be great for his skin, but let's see the blue. Absolutely not. No, no, no. So we're gonna go on yellow, like so. And now dial back the saturation until you're satisfied. 25 maybe. Let's see how it's on zero. Let's see how it's on 25. I guess 20 would be good. Right. Now the shadows. Same thing. Crank up the saturation and choose the color of your preference. I'll probably go with uh, a bluish tone. Maybe. Maybe even cyan. Yeah, cyan is good. Again, dial down the saturation until you're satisfied. 5, 10, 5, 10. Hmm. I'm gonna let it like that. And now, sharpening, I don't touch this thing. Like, even if my picture is not sharp enough, I'm not doing that. But instead, what you could do is to go uh, right here on the grain section on the effects 
and my rule of thumb is go for 30 amount size 30 and roughness 60 so now we might see how uh, everything looks if we go back to the original and the latest uh, adjustment you can see how the grain just pushes some texture where there was none I mean grain gives you texture and some sort of speciality this is the before and this is the after grain just looks good especially in on film but how this is digital of course you can change it you can push it to however amount you want you can go crazy with it it's just what it is whoa this looks good but ah, it's too much way too much gonna dial down just like so so yeah 30 should do <laughs> right now we have our picture almost done we have the tones we have the grain and we have the colors I just remove any chromatic aberration if there is any like so and now we are pretty good but also the green side I don't really like them so I'm gonna dial them down just a bit well a bit more I actually dial down the greens to minus 50 and let me see if I can do anything with his skin grab the orange and push it to like 10 maybe the yellow too like so now let's see the before and after before and after hmm I'm really satisfied with it and now let's just fine tune it maybe go a little up with the blacks now let's see this is more like it do I like more shadows no I don't I don't need to get more information from the shadows that I already have the highlights it just looks nah not well at all so I guess that's it we finished <laughs> And right now I'm gonna save this preset everything I, I did here you'll be able to apply to any picture you want that's it for today I'm gonna see you in the next video until then peace out